Are there ice cream sandwiches in the top? Mm. Hey -o. That is true. And a pizza. That's not a lie. Those Wait, are probably real what? old. Yeah, they're good. Oh, well, they're probably from like summer. Summer blast. Oh, wait, wait, these are better. Like, are these better? Who ate half of an ice cream sandwich and then put the other? Like, let's not spread any diseases. And his oranges. Ty just keeps oranges around his vehicle. Uh, to prevent scurvy, right? Any slower. Hi, you think you could go any slower? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that good looking guy. We are headed to bless some people for Make a Difference Monday. Make a Difference Monday, About let's to get go. Get some gift cards. Boom, chicka boom. Also, boom. Ah. Ty and I need to go get our personal donations. Yeah. Because Dream Center, according to Pastor Jonathan's live this morning, is running low. So Ty and I decided that we were gonna go together and grab our stuff. Dude, everybody knows what off. rhymes with soup. Poop. Thanks. <laughs> I just want life to start again. I want restaurants to open. I want to be able to go hang out with my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, the freedom. Yeah. I want to give you guys a hug and like hold you. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what I want. Cleaned up. It's dangerous out here. It's doing their part. Here we go. He looks like he's working really hard. Yeah, I'm over Should we yeah, should we help him? Church. We're going to get us some Cafe Athens, guys. It's 62 degrees, beautiful day. Corona in the air. Just kidding. Hopefully not. It's week three. Week three. How are you feeling? I feel good. I feel kind of tired of screens and technology a little bit. I miss face-to-face -face interaction with people. Um, I miss hanging out with friends and going to coffee shops and hanging out as a group. I think it's been trying to navigate, you know, how to maintain good relationships just with over the phone or over Zoom. Um, I think it's, it's just another thing when you get to actually be face-to-face -face in front of people. Um, but I think the church is doing an amazing job of just bringing hope and joy and connection. And I don't know, I was reading, I was reading where Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. And I was just thinking about that idea of being a peacemaker. I think that's really what we're called to do in this season of chaos and anxiety is to be peacemakers and to bring a sense of peace. It's, it's encouraging me to see how many in the church have chosen to go that route and be a peacemaker um, and bring an atmosphere of peace to, to their social media platforms and different areas of their lives uh, versus, you know, jump into the end times thing or thinking that the world's going to end. Fear, anxiety, or worry are these things uh, that are really out there and they are they are a choice. We, we can make the choice to partner with anxiety or fear, <clears throat> but I think uh, if we give the option to choose joy and to find the fun in this season and uh, to make fun of, you know, just being quarantined and just the craziness of having to sit in our houses for hours. I feel like it's kind of cool to watch some of the world show their true colors in good positive ways you know like people that are out there that are just doing their best to love each other and and take care of their neighbors and you see the church come alive and you do hear stories of some churches that aren't taking this seriously and it's a bummer to see some of that um, which by the way we at res are doing our absolute best to make sure that everybody is safe. It's kind of cool to just see how the church has not um, in any way slowed down because of this thing. In fact, a lot of churches are gaining momentum. I mean, some of our messages have gained like thousands. tens of thousands of views like yeah. in 24 hours and it's kind of like 
whoa, we don't have that many people at our church, so that's kind of cool to witness and unfold. It's sad to watch some people go through hard things, yeah. but um, you know, it's one of those things where this is a good test for you know our faith and can we really truly look in the face of hardship and yeah. you know say God, you're good, God, you're faithful, yeah. even when it looks like things are collapsing around us. I've been studying a lot about wilderness seasons mm. and just kind of looking into different times in the Bible that people, different biblical characters and figures went through wilderness seasons um, and they, they all kind of had a similar cry of God where are you or, mm-hmm. or why do I feel abandoned? David had a season like that. Even Jesus on the cross said God why have you forsaken me? Right. Um, and we look at Job and we look at all these different characters in the Bible. Uh, John the Baptist uh, <laughs> and, you know, Jesus as soon as he had this moment where his father says you're my son in whom I'm well pleased and then immediately it says the Holy Spirit drove him into the wilderness and so it's, it's interesting to look at all these different characters. The Israelites going through the wilderness um, after they're delivered from Egypt and, and so I've just been studying all these different people in their wilderness seasons and you know a lot of times we think that the wilderness is something that that we got ourselves into like oh god's punishing america for whatever and so he sent this coronavirus and we're in this wilderness and it's like i don't think that's really how this is working right most of the time uh, when you look in the scriptures the wilderness is a place of preparation it's a place of teaching it's a place of growing and character building and it's up to us and how we respond in the wilderness to, to see how long that wilderness lasts. The Israelites were only supposed to be in the wilderness for a short journey. Right. And because of their disobedience, because of their rejection of, of God and, and, and ways he wanted to do things, uh, they ended up prolonging their season. But we look at Jesus and he responds with the word of God, with prayer, with leaning into his father. And he comes out of the, the wilderness with power in his, in his ministry, miracles and crazy things start happening. He leaves the wilderness with power. And so we have an opportunity to lean into that and say, God, what do you want to teach us what do you want to do in us and through us in this wilderness season yeah and how can we grow in this season how can you sharpen our character in the season how can we grow our systems how can we get better as a church how can we get better as individuals and if we can learn and to lean into that I think this wilderness season is gonna be a lot shorter and we're gonna come out better on the other side of it <laughs> are you guys about to go film something <laughs> yeah. maybe you cool so, cats. Sanchez really wants to be on film, so I think we should make him do the wheel of death. Yes. The wheel of misfortune. But what if we want to show from like his knees no. down? You want to be in the wheel of misfortune? What is that? Just say yes. Oh. Wait, what did we answer? Apparently, some kids watched our Make a Difference Monday video, and they just brought money to the Dream Center to bless some people. Let's go. Three and a half year old and a five and a half year old just brought by um, some letters and there's some change and some dollars, and you have to zoom in on this, this letters, these letters. Um, we'll go ahead and read it to you. Dear Res Church, I'm giving my money because some don't have any. I love you, Wesley, wow. three and a half. Wesley gave three dollars. His sister writes, Dear Res Church, I'm so grateful to give money to you so you can give to people who need it. I got this idea from Addie, the hero Pastor Jonathan shared about. She inspired me <laughs> to give my money. My heart is so joyful today. I want to shout, praise God. Thanks to all of you for giving the Chick-fil-A meals to the hospital workers. workers. Love, Janie, five and a half. Happy Easter, Easter and Palm Sunday. Palm wow. Sunday. That's, right? that's amazing. It'd be funny if you guys did do like get pants, but you had a second pair of pants underneath. You know, I've always That'd wanted be those hilarious. like tearaway pants. Oh Palm my Sunday. gosh. Alright, make a diversion. <laughs> Austin, this is your first time on the vlog. How does it make you feel? Uh, famous. Yeah, famous. <laughs> Landon, Landon took the words from my mouth. Famous like the footwear? A million subscribers. Yes, just like the footwear. Okay. Love it. I feel like a cheap shoe. <laughs> I, I always feel like a cheap shoe. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> There's Chick-fil-A. They're having a meeting. A small group of them. Like last
less than 10 or something. And anyways, they're right there. So we can't film in here. We didn't even invite them. We invite them. No, we didn't invite them. They didn't bring us waffle fries. Or else we would You look like Captain America right now. Thank you. I work out every day. Closed. Closed on Sunday. You're my chick for life. I wasn't expecting that. I don't think we have to whisper anymore. We need to kind of talk around that. <laughs> oh my hips, I'm a woman's man, no time to time. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Demonetized. <laughs> <laughs>
the offices. <laughs> Shots are getting fired. Live for legacy. Hashtag live for legacy kids. I like that. Hashtag live for legacy. Office. It's better. Always. Hashtag come at us. Hashtag don't come at us. Hashtag stay six feet away. If you come away. at us, I will tag every office account on Instagram and they will come at you. Hashtag we won't come at you because we're in quarantine. But I will send a virus to your computer. Hashtag we won't do that. Just kidding. <laughs> what you guys doing? Trent, uh, we're going to order a uh, Baconator with no buns, because I'm on that uh, quarantine and grill diet where we're only eating meat until we're allowed back in the streets. Mm, they call it the quarantine keto. <laughs> yeah, keto. Corn, corn, key. corn key. There's so much pressure with the camera on that I don't have a good name for this. <laughs> Just trying to get lean, mean, and quarantine, you know? <laughs> Got there. Snooze, rise. Taki Bell. Taki oh. Bell. Oh my gosh. Taki Bell. Dreaming big. What you guys watching? YouTube video. Where do they find you on YouTube? Uh, let's do it, dude. That's the name of our channel. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> okay. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. If you need anything, feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, we'll see you next Friday.